So I'm getting ready to do my meal prep and I really want it to be as easy as possible today and I don't even want to heat up my oven. So this is some frozen chicken teriyaki that I have purchased from Sprouts. I like this a lot. Um, so you could either cook it in the stove, uh, on the, in the oven, on top of the oven or in the microwave. I am just going to put this in the microwave while I am cooking this riced broccoli. So this is something that I have never tried before. So it's supposed to be, it's just like rice cauliflower, but it's rice broccoli instead. And like I said, I want things as simple as possible, but I forgot that I don't even have any onions in the house. So really what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna saute up some of this garlic, then I'm gonna add my riced broccoli to the skillet, I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of this sesame seed oil so it tastes like a fried rice, but I'm not gonna to bother to put vegetables or an egg or anything in there. Um, because this chicken has a nice teriyaki seasoning, so I'm gonna serve the chicken on top of this riced broccoli. Okay, so I just cooked the chicken in the microwave. I just put it in this big glass container here. And you see how it's like barbecue chicken. And it's actually really good like this, even without the teriyaki sauce. So now after you have it in the microwave for a few minutes, um, it gives you two of these teriyaki sauces. Now even before surgery, I only ever used one sauce. So you just put the sauce in here and then you're gonna put it back in the microwave for a few minutes. And then here is my broccoli rice. So I just added one teaspoon of the sesame oil and then just a little bit of the soy sauce and my garlic is in there and it's amazing. It tastes so delicious and flavorful with the garlic. So I'm going to pop this back in the microwave and then I'm going to prepare my milk prep containers. Okay, so here are my milk prep containers. It turned out that I have about 3.3 ounces of chicken in each one of these. So I am going to be eating these two for the next two days and then I'm gonna put these tiny containers in my freezer. And then this I'm going to eat tonight for dinner. So as soon as I finish filming this, I am going to eat this up. So yeah, I mean, this was quick and easy. It took me less than an hour and I am going to eat my dinner. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to be having for lunch for the next few days. So I'm still doing really easy meal prep this week. So I've decided that for the next few days, I am going to have chef salad. So I have some spring mix here that I am going to rinse off. I am buying these um, hard-boiled eggs. This is the first time I've ever purchased these. Since I saw they were organic, I decided to give them a try. I got them from Sprouts. And then I got some turkey breast, some ham, and some cheese. And then I also, I just finished chopping up a tomato. I wanted a cucumber, but I didn't like the way that the cucumbers looked. So I'm always making sure that I prepare what I can eat. <laughs> so I can't eat more than four ounces of food. So I just have one slice of cheese, one piece of turkey, one piece of ham. I'm going to chop it up. This is one, so this is gonna be for my salad tomorrow. And then this is going to be for my salad the next day. I just wanted you to see how I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to also um, chop up the eggs and put them in one of these containers too. So when I make my salad, it's only going to be a handful of lettuce and then this container, which this only was uh, a little less than three ounces of meat. Like it actually was like two and a half ounces and then just some tomatoes and my egg. When I put the whole salad together, I will show you what it looks like. But like I said, I only make enough for me to be able to eat. Okay, so my stupidly easy meal prep for my salad is done. And since this package, they say that you should use it within five days after opening it, 
uh, for breakfast for the next few days. I will be having an egg with some blueberries. For lunch, I will be having my chef's salad here. My greens are all ready. And then for dinner, I will be having my chicken over the rice broccoli. So thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm starting my meal prep. I am about to bake this trout. So a couple weeks ago, I went to Whole Foods and I bought a couple of whole trout. I baked one trout right away, and then this trout, I wrapped it up in foil and I put it in the freezer. So I just defrosted it, and now this is the same foil that um, I had wrapped it up in, which is why it's all crinkly. But basically, I've just put some minced garlic and rosemary in this trout, and I put some olive oil on here, and now I'm going to put it in a 450 degree oven for about 20 minutes, uh, wrapped up in this foil. Okay, so the fish is for lunch. Now for my second meal, I'm going to experiment with something. So this time I have purchased the butternut squash spirals from Target. I tried the zucchini a few weeks ago. And what I'm going to do is brown this ground beef. I'm going to add the last of my frozen onions. I wish I had more onions, but that's all I have left. And um, the sad tomato that I had uh, purchased for salads and I didn't use it, so this is what is left. And then I'm going to, then these are seasonings. I'm going to make it kind of like a chili, just a little. So I'm going to add some chili powder, some cumin, and maybe a hint of this cayenne. And so the meat mixture is going to go on top of these zoodles. I'm not sure how it's going to taste. Like I said, I am making this up. So now I'm going to start browning my onions. Okay, so what I did was I browned up the onions. I put in the garlic and let that brown a little bit. And then I added my ground beef. And then I added all of my seasonings. So I don't want it to taste too much like a chili. You can decide if you make this how much you want it to taste like chili. So I really only added like uh, a teaspoon of the chili powder and just um, a tiny bit of the cumin and a tiny bit of the cayenne pepper and then I chopped up my tomato and I put that in here. I do have some tomato sauce but I don't want this to be like a pasta sauce. So you also could just go ahead and use a tomato sauce if you want to. So these are my zoodles and I think I'm trying to decide if I want to use the whole thing or not. Uh, butternut squash is relatively high in carbs. Maybe I'll use about half <laughs> and put these up in here and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so this is the finished product and I put the rest of the zoodles in the freezer and I'm going to divide this up into my individual servings and some of this will also go in the freezer. And I just took my trout out of the oven and I opened this up and it looks delicious with the rosemary. All I can smell is rosemary. So I'm going to cut this lengthwise and uh, put it in my serving containers. So now while the oven is still hot, I am going to put some frozen broccoli on here and roast that up to go with my trout. Okay, so now I'm about to put my broccoli in the oven. So this broccoli is frozen. I've rubbed some olive oil on it and a little bit of salt. And since my trout is going to last for about three servings, I only have enough broccoli here for three servings because I don't like to waste food. So I kind of like, this is like a little less than a handful uh, for each serving. So this is gonna go into the oven until it's nice and roasted. Okay, so this is it. When I divided up the fish, it turned out that it wasn't really enough for three servings, so it's just going to be two servings. This is um, like 3.9, 3.8 ounces of fish in each one. So I went ahead and just divided up the broccoli into two servings. It's probably going to be slightly more than I can eat. And then here is my um, squash with the ground beef. So this made 
uh, five servings. So this is the three, three and a half ounce servings that I'm going to be eating for the next three days. And then the other two servings I already put in the freezer. For breakfast, um, I'm just having hard boiled eggs and blueberries. And thank you for watching.